Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the honeycomb Christmas ornament and this is the third ornament in the Christmassy crochet along being hosted here on my YouTube channel and blog. So this is uh, the ornament that we are making today. It is made uh, with a stitch that is sometimes referred to as a honeycomb stitch uh, because of the shape of uh, the eyelets here but uh, this is an easy pattern to work it's made of single crochet and chain stitches the crochet piece is made separately from the bauble or from the plastic ornament and then it's slipped on over top for this crochet pattern you are going to need a little bit about 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn I am going to be using in this video uh, a little bit of Patton's Grace yarn. It's a cotton yarn uh, and it has that number three on the label. In the photos that are on my blog, richtexturescrochet.com, and here on this one, you can see I've used the Shawl in a Ball yarn by Lion Brand yarn. It is a number four weight, but I find it's a little bit lighter in weight than a typical medium number four. So if you're going to substitute the yarn, I would definitely look for that number three on the label. For this pattern, you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook as well as a Christmas ornament, either one that you're recycling or one of, like this uh, plastic DIY one that I found at my local craft store. This um, ornament measures about eight inches around for the circumference. So that's the size that you're aiming for at my local's Michael's store. It was the smaller of the two options that they had available. So thank you so much for joining me. You can head on over and get the free written crochet pattern at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is there in the video. And while you're here, I invite you to uh, take a look around and uh, subscribe to my channel. So let's grab our hook and our yarn and our Christmas ornaments and learn how to crochet this honeycomb Christmas ornament together. Our Christmas ornament pattern today is worked in rounds. You do not need uh, your DIY ornament quite yet so you can just set it aside. You're going to take your yarn and your four millimeter crochet hook and begin by making a slip knot. You're then going to make a foundation chain of 36 chains. There's 15 and 20, 25, 30, 36. Once you have your 36 chains worked, being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first chain and it's going to form a ring. You can chain one and you're ready to begin round one. For round one, you're going to single crochet in the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And this is what your ornament looks like so far. For round two, you're going to chain one single crochet into that same stitch as joining, chain five, skip the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain five, skip the next five, 
and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around ending with a chain five, skip five, and then at the very, uh, when you come to the beginning, you will join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round two, you join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and chain one. For round three, you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining. Now working into the chain five space, work five single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Into the next single crochet, work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. Five single crochet into the next chain five space and then single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Once you come all the way around you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round three, you've joined with a slip stitch and the first stitch. You're then going to slip stitch in each of the next three stitches. Just begin round four. So you don't chain, you've just joined, then you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, into the second stitch, and then into the third. At this time, you're going to chain one single crochet into that first stitch, into that same stitch, chain five, skip five stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to repeat chain five, skip five, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round five you're going to chain one single crochet into that first stitch. Now working into the next chain five space, work five single crochet stitches. Repeat that single crochet into the next single crochet stitch and into the next chain five, work five single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round five, you've joined with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now for rounds six through to eleven, you're simply going to repeat rows foot rounds four and five three more times. So your round four was your slip stitching into each of the next three stitches. Then you're going to chain one, single crochet, chain five, skip five, and work those arches. Your round five was your single crochet round. So you're going to work another six rounds, uh, repeating rounds four and five, essentially three times. At that point, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and then meet me back here. Once you have worked to round 11, you'll have a piece that looks like this. You'll have fastened off, woven in your ends. It's now time to put this onto your Christmas 
uh, ornaments. So you're just going to take the plastic ornament and slip on the cover just like so. You're then going to cut a couple lengths of yarn, I would say about six to eight inches. And to make it easier, I thread it onto my yarn needle. And then you can either begin top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. And you're just going to weave your needle in and out through the top round there, through the opening the chain spaces. When you come all the way around you're then going to simply pull it tight so that it gathers together there up at the top like so. Tie a knot so that it secures it. and then weave in your ends. You're then going to turn it over and you're going to repeat the same thing for the bottom of the ornament. Just weave in and out through that bottom round. Then at the end you're going to pull it tight around the bottom of your bobble it will come in to form a bit of a star. You can then tie it tight. And then weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working your honeycomb Christmas bauble, Christmas ornament. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to take a look around. Come back tomorrow for our next Christmas ornament. And until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.